Hello guys, my name is Tu. So for this video, I'll be talking about a new feature in Technomatics Plan Simulation 16.1, uh, the interface called MQTT. So I'll quickly show to you this new interface. I'll create, a, create a new file. And MQTT is by default not shown. So we need to uh, call it out by pressing the Manage Class Library. Press on MQTT, which is here. Now we have this button over here, which is a new feature in the latest version. So how can we use this? So let me just quickly demonstrate to you. But first, let me just head over to the MQTT uh, official website. So this is a new standard uh, for IoT messaging. Uh, for example, it is used in Facebook, Facebook messaging as well. So to demonstrate this, you can go head over to the software portion and find some of the uh, MQTT servers or brokers. So these are the available brokers, but uh, for today I will be using an open source uh, broker which is called Mosquito. So if I head over to Mosquito, uh, this will be the official website of Mosquito and there is a download page, click on the download page and download the server broker uh, for Windows version, which is all available here. Just click on it and it is now downloaded. Do a basic uh, or default installation quickly and this will allow you to have the Mosquito program. So now I will quickly, because I've already installed Mosquito, so I'll just go ahead to launch Mosquito from my computer. So I will head over to Command Pro and browse to the directory of Mosquito, C drive, program files, press the tab key to have some auto suggestion, and then CD Mosquito, yes. So this will be the directory of the MQTT broker. Launch the program, mosquito.exe uh, file. This will be uh, starting the broker. So the broker is started. I can just uh, quickly connect from plan simulation. Okay, so plan simulation. And I will use this button over here. So because the broker is located at the same computer, I can just put local host. Uh, it is if the broker is located in another machine, then you will need to specify uh, that the host name or that particular machine. And because I do not, I, I will just use the default port because I do not have any uh, security concerns. Callback methods. So whenever a transaction is occurs, for example, there is a new value published, then there is the call, callback methods will be triggered. So I'll just create a, a default callback uh, methods controls and I'm going to put a debug over here that the window de window debugger will launch whenever the method is triggered so save and currently uh, we do not subscribe to any uh, any uh, topic yet or wearable yet uh, I can quickly activate it pressing the active key Notice that there is a green LED on the top left corner of the icon. That means uh, the connection is already established. Okay, so now I can quickly uh, try to uh, do uh, set up a subscri subscriber. So CD, I will just head to the same directory again. So CD program files, CD mosquito, CD mosquito. So, uh, this, oh, sorry, not CD, not moving to the directory, but it's within the directory. There is a pressing the tab key will allows me to alternate the possible uh, execution files. So this is the publisher file. If you would like to publish a, a value, a message, but I'm just want to subscribe, so I'll just move to the subscribe.exe. Okay, I'm going to subscribe to a particular topic. Uh, minus small t represents to read uh, to to subscribe to a specific topic topics. So let's say topic number one, and press enter. So that's 
that's it. This, this uh, particular window will always monitor the subscription. Now let's try to uh, do the same thing over at plant simulation. So here I will create a new method called subscribe and MQTT subscribed to topic topic number one. Okay, save and so I'll just launch the subscription window. Currently there is nothing subscribed and when I uh, run this method, now I have already subscribed to the first topic. Okay, accept the default settings. Now let's try to bring out a publisher. So let's say I will head over to the same. I will launch another command prompt window again. Again, move to the same directory. Mosquito. And this time I will be using uh, publish. Okay, so publish a uh, uh, mess. Publish to a particular topic. Uh, that will be topic one and minus m the message of the topic is hello world hello okay so uh, the you will see that uh, the debugger is automatically automatically launched in plan simulation because we have this keyword over here the topic Okay, so the topic is known as topic one, is over here. The payload refers to the message. So in here, we notice that instead of giving us hello world, we are receiving an array data of type Unicode characters. So these are all Unicode characters. We need to, if you like to convert uh, into strings, we need to do that later. But before I do the conversion, I will quickly show you the subscription over here. Notice that this is also another subscriber. Uh, okay, so it is now reading hello world as well. So for this array, I will quickly write uh, some some command to translate to have a better translation. First of all, I will create a global variable over here. I will say this as the message, and the data type is string. Initial value I just put nothing over here, so the message does not have any value yet. So such. Now I will quickly write a uh, message. Uh, I will reset the message over here once, then uh, write a for loop. So I'll just write a for loop for local i goes to 1 to the length of the payload. So payload dot dimension refer to the length of the array. Up here I will say message is uh, increment with a characters so in order to convert this uh, number into a unicode characters we will need to use the keyword string char chr and use convert payload according to the index and that's it so i'll just apply it press f7 uh, f7 to apply this this update and then you just go slowly so if it is a json if it is a string if you reach here if it is a string we reach here with json reach here but it is not neither of these two then you reach here message is nothing then you do a for loop increase increment the i by one which l l o w o r l d so this is it. Oops. And therefore, I will just um, remove debug over here because uh, that's, that's it for uh, the method has been corrected. Now, this is sending the information from a specific publisher to plant simulation. So let's try to do it uh, in another way. To send an information from plant simulation to the external subscriber so we create a new method this time we call it publish 
publish. So the keyword is MQTT dot publish publish to topic one. The value of topic one will be uh, 10 8 p.m. Let's say. Okay, so I'll just find and click run. Okay. So this will be the external subscriber. We, are, we should be able to get the subscribe value over here, uh, but it is not shown. Uh, okay, now it's, it's here, it's shown. So this is uh, to demonstrate how we are able to use MQTT to do a bi-directional communication with external third-party um, subscriber. So thus allowing uh, better possibilities uh, and more possibilities for virtual commissioning using plant simulation software. So that's it for this demonstration. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.